Thank you for choosing WavePad from NCH Software. To download and install WavePad, go to the address shown on your screen. This video is an introduction to the basic audio editing features of WavePad and will cover editing, trimming, making a voiceover, splitting files, and more. Be sure to watch our other WavePad tutorials for overviews of the program and using effects, or read the help manual for explanations of additional features. You can access the help manual and more video tutorials from the help menu in the WavePad program. WavePad's layout gives you quick and convenient access to the features you use most often. There are three main areas you can use to find tools and features. They are the menus, the ribbon toolbar, and the command bar. For this video, we will mostly use the edit tab on the ribbon toolbar. You may need to widen the WavePad window to see all the editing features available on this tab. Most of the buttons complete one function when clicked but the buttons on the far right house menus for related editing features. Simply click one of those buttons to select one of the features from the menu that appears. If you want to move parts of your audio around within the file on WavePad, or copy a portion to another project, you'll first need to make a selection. The easiest way to select the entire file is to press Ctrl-A or Command-A on a Mac. Once selected, the entire file will be highlighted. To select a smaller portion, click at one end of the area and drag to the other end of the selection. Clicking play will play only the highlighted area so you can make sure your selection is correct. To adjust your selection, click and drag the left or right boundary of the selection. Frequently, you will want to enlarge the waveform in order to make more accurate selections. You can zoom in using one of two methods. First, if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, scroll up to zoom in or scroll down to zoom out. If you don't have a scroll wheel, click the zoom buttons found in the lower right corner of the project window or adjust the slider between those buttons. Secondly, WavePad has a vertical zoom feature, which will zoom only the height of the waves. These buttons are located just under the vertical scroll bar in the project window and are useful when you need to see greater differences between the peaks and troughs on the waveform. Before we talk about cut, copy, and paste, there are two tools that come in handy while editing on WavePad. The first one, Undo, allows you to undo up to eight of your last actions. If you accidentally undo too many steps, using the Redo button will reinstate the erased action. Use the Cut, Copy, and Paste buttons to move your selections around within a file or to a new WavePad project window. Clicking on Copy loads the selection on the clipboard so you can copy it elsewhere while preserving the original selection. Similarly, clicking on Cut also loads your selection onto the clipboard, but removes the selection from its original location. Once you've clicked either Cut or Copy, you can insert the selection in another part of the file or in a new file by clicking on the new location and then clicking Paste. You can paste the selection as many times as you need before you load another selection onto the clipboard. Another tool on the Edit tab is the Delete button, which, of course, deletes your selection from the file. You can also delete a selection by pressing Delete on the keyboard. A common editing technique is trimming, which removes blank space at the beginning and end of an audio file. This task is extremely simple on WavePad using Auto Trim. Click the Trim button in the toolbar and select the first option, Auto Trim Silence from the start and end of a file. There are two other options on the Trim button that give you more control over where the trim takes place, based on where you place your cursor, or if you have selected the audio you want to keep. The easiest way to learn how they work is to try them out. One of the first things you might want to use WavePad for is to record your voice over a piece of music. WavePad does not allow you to record directly over another file. If you try highlighting your file and clicking record, you actually end up replacing that part of the audio. To achieve a voiceover, you need to combine two files. Thank you for choosing WavePad from NCH Software. Use the Paste Mix feature to put two files together. 
What Paste Mix does is takes an audio selection you've put on the clipboard and pastes it into a new selected region. Let's do that now. First, select the Mix Audio or your voice recording by using Ctrl A or Command A to select the entire file and click the Copy button in the toolbar to load it onto the clipboard. Next, select the second file the same way using Ctrl or Command A. Now click the Paste Mix button. A window pops up giving you some options if your files are not the same length. If the mix audio, which is your voice recording, is the shorter of the two files, you can ignore the options and click OK. If the mix audio is longer, you have to decide what happens when the audio you are recording over is finished. Choose Increase Selection if you want the combined file to end after the mix audio ends. Choose Fade Out Mix if you want the two files to end at the same time. Our mix audio is shorter in this demo, so we can just click OK. WavePad then places the mix audio over the selected audio, and when you click play, you can hear that the files have been combined. Thank you for choosing WavePad from NCH Software. To download and install WavePad, go to the address. If you need more advanced functionality for mixing audio, try MixPad from NCH Software at the address shown on your screen. You can split a file in two at any point you choose using WavePad. To do this, first click at the point you want to split, and then click the Split button in the toolbar. Be careful when you use this function, the action cannot be undone. To split the file into more than two parts, insert bookmarks where the file should be split. To set a bookmark, place the cursor at the bookmark point, and right-click the mouse to bring up the context menu, and select Set Bookmark. Enter a name for the bookmark if you want, and click OK. When all your bookmarks are set, click the Split button and select Split File at Bookmark. WavePad can also automatically detect silences and split the file at those points. Click the Split button and select Split File at Silences. Choose the volume threshold for what you consider a silence, and the duration the silence must last to be split at that location. When you click OK, WavePad will ask if you want to save any changes to the original file. Click Yes if you made changes to the original and want to save them. After the Save window, you'll see that WavePad has split your file into new smaller files. You've just been shown editing basics using NCH Software's WavePad Audio Editor. For more information on WavePad's effects and features, watch the Intro to Effects WavePad tutorial. Thank you for choosing WavePad from NCH Software. To download and install WavePad, go to the address you see on your screen. This video covers sound effects, pitch and speed, amplifying a file, fading in and out, removing noise, and normalizing a file. Be sure to watch our other WavePad tutorials for overviews of the program and basic editing, or read the help manual for explanations of additional features. You can access the help manual and more video tutorials from the help menu in the WavePad program. WavePad's layout gives you quick and convenient access to the features you use most often. There are three main areas you can use to find tools and features. They are the menus, the ribbon toolbar, and the command bar. For this video, we will mostly use the effects tab on the ribbon toolbar. You may need to widen the WavePad window to see all the effects available on this tab. Most of the buttons complete one function when clicked. But some buttons house menus for related effects. Simply click a menu button to select one of the effects from the menu that appeared. If you want to move parts of your audio around within the file on WavePad, or copy a portion to another project, you'll first need to make a selection. The easiest way to select the entire file is to press Ctrl A or Command A on the Mac. Once selected, the entire file will be highlighted. To select a smaller portion, Click at one end of the area and drag to the other end of the selection. Clicking play will play only the highlighted area, so you can make sure your selection is correct. To adjust your selection,
click and drag the left or right boundary of the selection. If you forget to highlight an area before applying the effects covered in this video, keep in mind that WavePad will automatically apply the effect to the entire file. Let's cover some of the effects you can apply to your audio files using WavePad, which can be found by clicking the Special Effects button on the toolbar. The first one I'll talk about is Echo, which repeats a sound after a short time. You can use the presets to mimic the type of echo you want to use, or use the sliders if you know which levels to enter. This is what, this the, is echo what the echo effect, effect sounds, like. sounds like. Reverb is similar to echo, but instead of repeating a sound once, it reflects the sound several times. Again, you can select a preset setting to mimic the type of reverb you want to hear, or adjust the sliders to the desired levels. This is what the reverb effect sounds like. There are several other effects on this button, and the best way to familiarize yourself with them is to just try them out. Remember, you can always undo your last action by pressing Ctrl or Command Z, or clicking the Undo button on the Edit tab toolbar. Now let's look at the Speed button. Here you have options to adjust the speed and pitch at the same time, or just the speed, or just the pitch. If we click the speed and pitch change, we can increase or decrease the speed and pitch at the same time. 200% will double the speed and pitch, 50% will slow it down and lower it by half. Click the play button to hear a preview. This is what a 150% increase sounds like. When you want to make your file sound louder, simply turning the volume control up isn't going to have an effect. You'll have to amplify the file. To do this, Click the Amplify button in the toolbar. In the dialog window, either adjust the slider or select a preset level from the drop-down menu. 200% will double the volume, 50% will cut the volume in half. Click the Play button to preview the level, then click Apply to apply the new volume level. Fading in and out helps acclimate the ear to the background noise in the audio file. To fade in, Select the region at the beginning of your file, then click the Fade button in the toolbar and select Fade In. To fade out, select the region from the end of your file and click the Fade button and select Fade Out. A good tip is to fade in quicker than you fade out because the ear expects to hear the initial audio quickly, but an abrupt transition to silence at the end can be jolting to the ear. There are several combinations of effects you can use to reduce background noise from an audio file on WavePad, but here is one method that works well for a basic cleanup. Click the Cleanup button on the toolbar and select Apply Auto Spectral Subtraction. Either adjust the audio proportion percentage, or select a preset from the drop-down menu that best fits the audio you are working with. Click OK and listen to your file after the spectral subtraction has completed. If there are still noises, you can click the Cleanup button again and select Apply Multiband Noise Gating. Either adjust the slider to the desired level or select a preset from the drop-down menu and click OK. Between the two noise removal methods, most of the audio's background noise should be cleaned up. Remember, you can undo up to eight of your last actions if you need to go back and readjust these levels to obtain the optimal audio quality. Normalizing an audio file is similar to the concept of amplifying, except that normalizing increases the sound of the loudest peak to the maximum level without causing clipping in digital audio. It is frequently the last step taken when working on an audio file. To normalize an audio file, click the Normalize button in the toolbar. You can either adjust the slider or choose a preset level that fits the project you are working on. Click OK when you're finished to apply the normalization. You've just been shown how to apply basic effects using NCH Software's WavePad Sound Editor. For more information on WavePad's editing features, watch the Intro to Editing WavePad tutorial.